Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Come join me. Taurus, we are doing your bonus reading for June 2021. Let me light some stage really quick. Ooh, I gotta wipe all this Libra energy off because they were stuck inside a love cycle. <laughs> That's that Tusi song. I like that song. All right. So Taurus, what I'm gonna do for you, um, we're going to do a love spread first, a career and finance spread, and then close it off with some advice for you. Let's see what we got going on. In the background, I got um, music playing. It's 888 hertz, a solfagio frequency. It really ain't. It. It's actually making my head hurt. So, I'm gonna try to find another one, but right now that one's on, so. Okay, you got all these that fell out, so I'm just gonna take them. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Ooh, you might be dealing with somebody who is highly intuitive or you are highly intuitive. Because you got the high priestess here. This person could have you feeling left out in the cold or you got them feeling left out in the cold. You might have walked away from them or they could have walked away from you. But somebody wants to reunite here. But somebody else is defensive about this. Um or on guard about this. Protecting themselves. Show me the high priestess. Why is this here for Taurus? Ooh, so somebody could be using their intuition or they could be psychic or whatever and they feel like they are burdened. Show me the Ten of Wands. Judgment. They're having a wake, an awakening about this burden, some type of burden. Show me the five of pentacles. This is somebody from your past, Taurus. You could be having some type of epiphany about a burden that you caused somebody in the past. And they walked away from you, left you out in the cold. You guys might have been living together. Somebody might have got kicked out of the family home. I feel like the situation is coming back around with the emperor and you're trying to keep control of it. Maybe even keep control of your feelings. Show me the ace of cups. The hierophant. These two keep coming out together. So with these two cards coming out together, I feel like you are controlling your physical environment right now. You've gotten back on track. You know what I mean? You might have put this person you know that whatever they came with you might have put the put it down and moved away from it but now somehow this person is re-emerging mercury retrograde people exes come back but i feel like you feel like this is some type of godly intervention or something like that like maybe you can't believe that they're back or something like that want them back though show me the higher fun justice karma so you got all these major arcanas here you got the high priestess judgment the emperor the hierophant and justice you went through a lot with this person. And you love this person a lot. You feel like y'all are supposed to be together. And you think like this is some type of sign of them coming back around and you want to reunite with them. Show me the seven of wands. You got the six of wands. You want a victory here. You want this person to recognize who you are to them. You might have been spying on this person and they might have been spying on you. Or this person could be um, in the public eye a lot and get a lot of recognition. And that makes you defensive. 
or vice versa. You might be in the public eye or deal with a lot of people, get a lot of recognition. And this person might have seen that and they became defensive. Maybe that's why you guys ended up breaking up in the first place. That's what I'm seeing here. They thought that what you do for work or something was too much of a burden. And so they walked away. They trusted their intuition, made a final call about the situation, left you out in the cold. But now they're returning. Mm -hmm. Too many, too many. Oh my God, yeah. So this is some type of karmic situation, definitely, is what I'm getting here. This person could be single, doing good, or you could be single, doing really good, running shit, and this person's coming back around. Somebody feels betrayed and backstabbed in the situation. And that's right on uh, justice. Somebody wants another chance here. Somebody wants to make things right. Yeah, come back into union. There might have been a third party situation that somebody found out about here. Somebody was fucking devastated though. Devastated in this situation. But I feel like there was a lot of love here. I don't, but this relationship was such a burden. It was such a burden. What else? Show me the lovers. Somebody, somebody held back in this situation. They held back too much and it became a burden. Show me the nine of principles. Somebody might be trying to manifest this person back. You might have been trying to manifest this person back. You guys might have been manifesting each other back. Show me the ten of swords. Now you got the nine of wands, the wounded warrior. You might have never thought you were going to see this person again. I'm surprised the tower card is not here yet because I feel like, or maybe they haven't come back yet. Maybe they're going to come back, which is why the tower card isn't here. But I feel like you're going to definitely be shocked that this person is coming back because, you know, they might have found out something here and left. Show me the three of cups. King of swords. I see some reuniting happening here. But I also see somebody putting up some really strict boundaries and trying to be more logical about the situation this time around. Yeah, somebody, somebody wants happily ever after here. This person is your everything, you see. Like, there's equal give and take. This person will give to you equally as you give to them. Somebody might want to take things slow this time, though. Way slower. The wheel of fortune. Things are turning in your favor, Taurus. This is divinely guided somehow. You guys might be moving on to karma waters. I feel like. What else? Yes, you think this person is super soaker sexy. Super soaker sexy. <laughs> you try not to be too emotional about it though. This is definitely some type of divine match here. This person does it for you, or you do it for them. Like, y'all can't stop fucking with each other, I feel like. Can y'all see my food up there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to eat after this one, because these readings be draining me. Like, y'all don't even know. Draining. All right, let's get some advice for Taurus. Spirit guys, we have ancestors. Show me what I need to see. 
First card out, give your relationship a chance. This is work, work on your partnership. I'm hearing somebody might want to get married here. Passion, you guys have a lot of passion for each other. The sex is fire is what I'm getting. Fire, that's the exact word, fire. There might be some type of codependency issues here with one of you or both of you. Flirt. Y'all might just be flirting back around right now. I'm getting. But you, somebody wants it to go past that. Somebody wants to, you know, reunite and try it all over again. I don't know if that's you or the other person, of course, but release your ex. Ooh. Somebody might have had difficulties releasing other partners in the past. That might have been the problem with you guys. Finances and career also might be playing a factor here. So yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Somebody was codependent on their exes or ex. This could be the one. But they they knew that this person was like a soulmate to them. I'm getting soulmate, not twin flame. I don't know. Could have been just a really, really strong connection. Honeymoon, yeah, what did I say? Somebody wanted a higher level of commitment here. But there was some outside inter interference here. Woo, okay, Taurus, that's what I have for you on the love fronts. Really didn't say what you need to do, but I mean, I don't know. All I know is that this connection is really strong, really deep, and has some type of divine timing to it. Y'all take what y'all can from that and do what you will with it. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Let's look at your career finances since that is also playing a role here. <clears throat> why is career and finance here? For Taurus, why is career and finance here? Let's see what's going on with career and finance. Here we go, 528. That one's always pretty good. So if you guys don't know about the Sofuegio frequencies, look them up. Also check out um, Meditative Mind. He does videos on the frequencies. and I mean, I've had really good luck with them. This is why I should lock my door. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that in. Keep it in now. <laughs> All right. Career finance for Taurus. Sorry about that. My son needs batteries for his multiple controllers. Okay. So, yeah. You got options at work. That's what the career and finances was playing a role in this for. But I'm going to leave that separate. Okay, so Taurus, if you were wondering how career and finances played into your romantic situation, you might have had options at work or you might have felt like the person you were dealing with had options at work. 
info, yeah, we'll just keep that up there. So tell me about career and finances for Taurus. What's going on with the career and finances? Money, money for Taurus. Okay, so you uh, might be building something at work. You might be getting promoted at work. Or it might be getting more responsibilities at work. You're not exactly sure maybe how to handle whatever you're building at work. Like whatever you are progressing to. The page of cups is somebody who, who's learning. Pages are learning anyway. So you might be trying to learn how to put more emotion into your work in order to progress into a different position, a higher position. Or maybe you're learning how to be, you know, more compassionate at work. Yeah, because now you have the Knight of Cups. Maybe you're learning how to separate work and passion. What else? The Knight of Wands, yeah. It's a lot of immature energy here. Um, I'm just gonna say that when it comes to work. You might work with a lot of people who are younger than you and immature and um, you might get a lot of offers from these people at work. Show me the three of pentacles. Okay, yeah. And you don't, you might, mm, mm, there's something going on at work. This is just like Libra's reading, I swear. I wonder if any of that energy like came over here. What else for Taurus? So there's definitely, you might have had to let somebody go at work or you might be getting let go at work. Something, some type of betrayal happened at work or you might have been looked over for a higher position. You got the five of swords. Somebody might have been being selfish in a work situation. I feel like this is Taurus. Look, I'm sorry, I'm over here stuck like Chuck. I'm trying to figure out what does this have to do with your job? Like none of this stuff that I'm seeing here has to do with work. Um, I mean, I feel like there's some type of very immature situation that's playing out at work, but it doesn't have anything to do with your money. Somebody could be feeling betrayed or backstabbed. Somebody might've had to get let go. You might've had to been the person who let this person go. And you might have had to control your feelings about doing it. Like you might have had something going on with somebody at work. You know what, Taurus? I'm gonna leave this here because this is this is taken from me <laughs> a lot. What advice do we have for Taurus when it comes to work, money, career, finances?
Meditation brings answers. I'm also feeling like somebody might have been competing for a position. Helpful people. I'm also getting you might have tried to help somebody out by giving them a job and they fucked you over. They didn't do what they were supposed to do and you might have had to let them go. If you believe, so this is going back to the um, people who might be competing or up against somebody else for a position, you might have to believe in yourself a little bit more. Abundance. So whatever's going on at work, you're not losing here. Like you're gonna still have money, you're still gonna be doing good. Somebody might have gave you a job too. Maybe after you got fired. Or maybe you left, you didn't get fired, maybe you left. All right, Taurus, let's see what we got going on for Moonology, the Moon Goddess. What do you have for us? Emotions are running high, like everybody's gotten that card. A new romantic cycle begins. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's something going on at work. Like, you might be interested in somebody at work. So, emotions are running high. A new romantic cycle begins. And Libra. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what was happening with Libra, too. Communication is key. So you might need to just establish some boundaries at work too. That's what I'm feeling. If you did get put into a higher position, I'm feeling like you need to communicate with the people under you a little bit better because they might not be respecting your authority since your promotion. Show the world the real you. So somebody also might need you to prove to them that you believe in yourself enough to handle the responsibility of some type of promotion and a win-win forecast is a win-win outcome is forecasted. So yeah, abundance. All right, Taurus, that's all I have for you, my loves. I really appreciate you guys staying with me through all this confusion. Um, hit that like button for me on your way out. Please subscribe to the channel. Help my help me build up my subscribers so more people can get these messages out. Um, so I can do more videos and so I can get more tarot cards. I want some new tarot cards. All right. I really appreciate you guys. Blessings on blessings.